Hey guys, this is Alan, the uh, handyman, and uh, today we are talking about having a minimum charge. Should you have a minimum charge as a handyman? And what is a minimum charge? Well, let's go ahead and get started with that. A minimum charge is going to be the minimum amount you are going to charge somebody just for showing up at their house. Why is it important for you to charge a minimum just to show up? Well, a lot of people are going to call you and a lot of people are going to want to uh, are going to want you to do work for them. Some jobs are going to be very small like changing a few light bulbs. Other jobs are going to be changing a toilet, changing a faucet, you know, one ceiling fan or like today's job that I have is there's a water stain on their ceiling. They're they want to sell the house, so they want me to just paint over it. Very simple. It should only take me a few minutes. And uh, this is why it's important to have a minimum charge. How do you set up your minimum charge? Well, that will depend on your area. Um, the way I set mine, I did not have one at the beginning. This is something that I learned over, you know, over time. I just looked online and then I found other handymen that were successful in my area and I saw or you know I, I just checked their prices out and a lot of them had a minimum charge at the time I wasn't aware of having a minimum charge so I saw you know some handymen the bigger ones they were charging at least $250 just to show up other ones you know they were $75 and then everything in between so my minimum charge for my business is $125. Now the reason I set it to $125, it's not that high, it's not that low either. And you have to understand, as a handyman, you are going to have overhead. From the time that you leave your house, time is money. Gas is not free, and neither is the time that it takes you to drive to the customer's house. So my $125 normally covers at least just one hour. One hour of non-electrical, non-plumbing jobs. So let's say somebody wants me to change our garbage disposal. Um, no, I'm not gonna charge 125. So for a garbage disposal, I charge 150. And it usually takes me less than 30 minutes. So for smaller jobs like hanging pictures or uh, a towel bar in the bathroom, you know, or little fixtures like that, I usually the 125 will apply to that only for the first hour but the reason I set it to 125 is because like I said it's not too high it's not too low and then I specialize in smaller jobs I don't like the big jobs that take you know days and days or weeks to, to finish I like stuff that I can get done within one to two days and then move on to the next thing I don't like big stuff and I usually, um, the smaller jobs, um, I like to do them on Mondays. I don't like Mondays, guys. I'm sure a lot of you don't like Mondays either. Um, so I usually schedule my appointments that are gonna be short, fast and furious like this one on Mondays because, you know, I want an easy day on Monday. I don't want any stress. I don't wanna worry about stuff. And uh, I feel that 125, for most people, it's not gonna be that high. So if they need something quick done, they are willing to pay the $125 fee. Now if I go higher than that, like this person, uh, then you may not get the job because then you're charging too much. As you progress in your handyman career, uh, you are going to um, specializing things you know uh, maybe you like bigger jobs maybe you like just doing one thing in one house you know one two houses a month and make you know enough money for the entire month and uh, maybe that's you so your minimum charge is gonna be higher because you don't want to bother doing little stuff like I'm doing right now but you know 125 it's not gonna pay you mortgage you know it's not gonna pay your bills but if you do, you know, four, five, six appointments on 125 in one single day and they all take less than an hour to finish, I mean, that's good for me. Um, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, it's great money. 
If I want bigger jobs, you know, tomorrow I have another bigger job and I'll show you that one. Or like the one that I had last week, the roof repair. Um, you know, I get everything in between. So I just, I just like this stuff. But anyways, uh, let me go inside and let me show you what's going on so you see how simple this is. So I'm inside the house right now and uh, if you look on the screen, there's uh, water staying on the ceiling. Now, it hasn't been going on for a long time. I mean, it literally just showed up. They're trying to sell the house, so he just wants it to look nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a primer. I like to use a one, two, three bins. Um, it works amazing. And the reason you wanna prime it first is because sometimes when you just paint over, uh, the stain will show through the paint and um, usually you won't find out until the paint's dry so that's the reason why you want to prime it first let it dry and then you can paint over so you know for sure that stain's not gonna show up again all right so I'm all done um, it, I was, I've been here for about an hour and the only reason I'm, it took me this long is because I had to literally try every single white color he had in the house and none of them matched. Um, this is why painting jobs, especially patching, I never guarantee color matching, ever. And I make it very clear when somebody hires me to paint something, a patch or anything, that I do not guarantee color matching, ever. Because in my experience, I think maybe one or two times out of many times that I painted in the past, the paint actually matched. So it just never happens. You will always see variations, um, especially um, when painting patches. But yeah, so he knew this and then it does look better than it did before and then he's just trying to sell the house and unless somebody's really looking at it, uh, they're not gonna notice. As you guys saw, that wasn't that difficult. Uh, it literally only took me an hour and then that's counting the time that it took me to drive to that appointment. Um, I'm charging $125 for this appointment and that is my minimum service charge. The reason I have a minimum, as explained, is because you have to have a minimum because otherwise you will not make any money. If I didn't have a minimum, I mean, how much will you charge for discount work? It's just the way it works, you have to have a minimum. Now, like I said, I like smaller jobs, especially for Mondays, because I don't, I don't, I hate Mondays. So I usually try to take it easy on Mondays. And then uh, my minimum charge is not the highest, it's not the lowest. So when somebody needs a quick work like this and they hear 125, you know, a lot of people don't mind paying that just to not have to deal with it. The uh, homeowner is out of state and uh, he just doesn't want to deal with it. So he just wanted, wanted it done. Even though it's not perfect, I was very clear. And uh, as long as you're, you are clear with your customer, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. So now I got another appointment I'm going to right now and it's going to be something easy that's going to take me another hour and it's another 125. So it just depends, you know, as a handyman, you can just pick the appointments you want to do and then just the ones you don't want to do, just don't take them. Um, I do both, uh, but like I said, I like to keep my appointments, you know, that take one to two days max. I don't like bigger jobs. I just lose concentration and then I just like to keep it moving. Uh, you can make as much money as you as you want. Uh, it's personal choice, to be honest. When you first start, your minimum charge, I would say, just so that you feel comfortable, go on the, on the low end um, to what everybody else in your area is charging. I mean, for me, it's 125 If you're just starting, I mean, I would say, you know, $75 should be okay. And then that way you can build up confidence and then at the same time you can get paid uh, on the job to learn. And that's how I did it. When I first started, I did not have a minimum. Uh, I priced the uh, jobs individually, so every job was different. 
and you know I, I think the cheapest thing that I ever done when I first started was just making a hole in a wall for um, for 50 bucks so I think that's the cheapest I ever charged anybody just to show up to their house nowadays uh, to be honest $50 is not worth it for me to drive to anybody's house it's just not enough money you have to understand that the government will take their cut you have overhead gas maintenance I mean it's not cheap and then your time so your time is very valuable and then you also have to understand you are going to somebody's house that alone is worth money and on top of that you got your tools in your in your vehicle that is worth money too so you know I don't feel bad about charging 125 because this is a topic for another video I'm, when I try to get helpers I mean you know the guys you pick up at Home Depot or, and Lowe's they don't want to work for less than 50 bucks an hour and then they don't want to work an entire day they just want to work a few hours and they don't have any experience you have to pick them up you have to drop them off they don't have any tools and half the time they do crappy work anyway but yet they want 50 bucks an hour or they don't want to work so I mean if I'm charging $125 I have the knowledge and if I don't I will learn it I have the vehicle I'm coming to the person's place I have my tools ready to go that is worth 125 just to show up all right guys anyways if you have any questions just comment below and uh, I will see you next time